Hey, you guys. So I'm back again with another message from the Lord. Um, while I was in here tidying up my room and my bathroom, God reminded me of the dream that he gave me last night. And in the dream, um, it was basically like an old job was calling me back. I um, wanted me to come back to work, wanted to give me a promotion, give me more pay, all the bells and whistles and all this other stuff um, that I could ever ask for. And I was kind of conflicted. I was like, okay, God, why are these, why are they doing this? Why are they trying to give me all this stuff? Like I'd already know what you don't told me. Like if I take this job, I won't be able to do what you have called me to do. Like I was kind of conflicted in the dream. And I'm trying to figure out why am I conflicted when I already know what God has told me to do. Like I already know I can't work for and everybody. I can't work for different companies. Like I have to be about my father's business in the season. I already know this. So when I woke up, I was like, okay, God, what are you saying in this dream? And he pretty much was like, tell my, tell my people, tell my children, don't go back to old doors. I'm like, okay. Um, Y'all got to understand, we're in the year of 5784. And that's the year of the open heaven, year of the open door. And God is about to give his children keys to new doors, new opportunities, um, instructions to access these things, these new doors, these uh, up under this open heaven. And God is saying, tell my children, don't go back to these old doors. Doors I specifically told them that no longer serve them. Doors that I specifically told them that they were closed. What the enemy is going to try to do in this season, he's going to try to open up a door for some of God's children. An old door to make it seem like it's God and God is saying, that's not me. We have to forget those things that are behind us and press forward to those things that are which in front of us. And a lot of those things that God has delivered us from, they can't go into with us in this new season. That, that season is over. You don't went through enough warfare. You don't went through enough hell. That stuff is over. And yes, the devil going to paint it up and make it seem like it's good. But it's the still same old mess painted up just in a different way. Okay. And God is saying, tell my children, don't go back to old doors. And old doors not might not just be jobs and old opportunities. It might be people, places, and things that God said no longer serve you want to come back. You got to understand the season that we're in. We're in the season of open heaven. We're in the season of open doors. A lot of people are going to want to come back and write off of your Joseph anointing. A lot of God's children have Joseph anointing. Every time, everywhere Joseph went, the people around him had favor. The whole entire time Joseph was in Potiphar's house, Potiphar had favor. So these same people want to come back in a different form, in a different way, like they change and they really have not changed, to try to trip you up from entering into the door that God really has for you, or wants to come in right off of your glory, wants to come in right off of your favor, and God is saying not so. Tell my children, do not go back into these old doors. These doors were closed by me, but the devil going to try to swing them open and make it seem like it's God, and God is saying it's not me. I always take every message back to confirm to God. I always seek him for further instructions, for the clarity. I always pray and ask God, okay, God, is this what you're telling me to do in this season, in this hour? He will always confirm because he knows the devil is busy during this hour. But God is saying, you guys, do not go back to these old doors. He delivered you from these old doors for a reason. They got you to where you needed to be. Now God is trying to take you to higher heights and deeper depths, like I said in another video. It's time to let those old things go. I don't care how good it might look. I don't care how good it might seem. God is saying no. Because what it's going to do is going to distract you from your purpose. It's going to try to take you off track and do some other stuff to get you off track and off focus. And God is saying, stay on the course. Continue to race. You are closer than what you think. When the devil starts to do things like that, it's because you're closer to your breakthrough. So now he wants to send in things that looks good, that looks like it's of God when it's not. We should always pray and take things back to confirm and confirm. But God said, do not go back to old doors, especially someplace where you are miserable. And God deliver you. God, God, God gave you a way out. Do not go back. Okay. Do not go back to these old doors. Do not go back to these old things that no longer serve you. God got greater things in store for you that's ahead of you. All right, so I just wanted to come share. Do not go back to these old doors, you guys. People, places, things, jobs that God says no longer serve you. God got greater in store for you, okay? 
your lather will be greater than your former i said that in a previous video all right so you guys please keep moving forward don't go back to these old doors all right you guys i love you all and i will chat with you all later